Well, hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Eek Acres. Boy, we topped out today at about 92 degrees. And I decided not to mow for two reasons. So it's just too hot to run the tractor because I fixed it. I got the new part in the mail and I put the new regulator on it. And I started it up and it runs like a top. So that's all fixed and I also ran a new ground. But not only was it because it was too hot, but also because we had about a 90% chance of thunderstorms with flooding potential. And here it is going on 7 o'clock p.m. And it only sprinkled today. But what I wanted to mention in this video today, you guys, is that uh, I don't know about you, but I remember back in the day, this is going back decades, when thunderstorms would happen when I was a kid, you'd get a thunderstorm that would come and you'd hear the thunder in the distance and the sky would turn black. And I'm not talking about a severe thunderstorm, I'm just talking about just a normal thunderstorm. And the sky would get dark and you'd hear the thunder in the distance and that was your cue to get your bike in the garage or pick up your toys or whatever and make a beeline for the house because it was going to storm. And I remember in those days, you guys, the thunderstorms were something else. The thunder was very deep and rumbling, and it would shake and vibrate the house, and it even make dishes rattle in the cupboard. And the lightning was pretty sharp, very bright, like pinkish white lightning, just bolts of lightning. And you'd be like, wow, man, I'm glad I'm not outside in that. And it would last anywhere from a half an hour to 45 minutes or longer where you'd have a thunderstorm. I remember growing up as a kid and even well into my teen years where a thunderstorm would hit in the night and you could listen to it raining out, just a normal gentle rain where it would just rain for hours and it would thunder and lightning. You'd see a flash of lightning out your bedroom window and it would lull you to sleep at night. And sometimes storms like that would last all night long, thunderstorm after thunderstorm. Now, when you get a thunderstorm these days, it lasts maybe five minutes. Five minutes. Sky gets a little bit dark. You hear a couple claps of thunder, and it's all over with. You might get a heavy downpour that will last five minutes, and then it's gone, and then the sun comes out, and everything gets bone dry again. And in the spring this year, we had nothing but torrential downpours, two inches of rain per hour. And that's what would cause the, the two track down here to flood because the pipe that runs underneath the driveway there can't handle the volume of water that was coming down off the hill out of the woods. It was too much for it. But there was never any warning on that rain. They didn't say that there was gonna be a chance of that happening or any flood advisories or flood warning for the area. They wouldn't issue it until the rains were happening for hours and hours and then they would issue a flood watch or a flood warning but the storms today only last anywhere and this is no joke or exaggeration you guys they last anywhere from five to ten minutes and that's it I cannot remember I cannot remember when we had an old-fashioned traditional thunderstorm like it was when I was growing up as a kid or even through my teen years of when a storm would hit and last anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and it would lightning and thunder and lightning and thunder. And then it would pass. And as it passed, you could hear the thunder fading in the distance, getting further and further away. Now when it does it for only five minutes, it thunders maybe two, three times. And that's it. You don't hear any more as the storm goes away from you. You don't hear the thunder going off in the distance as the storm is moving away. It's so strange how the weather today is nothing like I remember it being. I don't even know when we've gotten a real good thunderstorm last. Not a violent one, not a severe thunderstorm, just a good old fashioned thunderstorm. I can't remember whenever we've had one that have lasted like they did when I was a kid growing up. They rarely even talk about thunderstorms anymore. They just give rain chances now. They don't even hardly talk about thunderstorms. And I remember as a kid when the days would get in the upper 80s, low 90s, that that daytime heating would cause thunderstorms. The clouds would build and get really high in the sky. You could lay on your back in the lawn and watch those clouds just roll and build and roll and build 
and then you get a thunderstorm later in the day and it'd be the kind that I was telling you about in this video. Now the daytime heating doesn't even cause any storms. It's just hot and dry and nothing happens, even when they say it's going to. But it's been years and years since I heard a good old thunderstorm where it would last in the night and you could fall asleep to the thunder, you could fall asleep to the pouring rain. We don't even have rain that is even normal anymore these days where you'd get just a, like a steady rain all day long. Not, you know, an inch or two per hour, not a heavy downpour, just general rainfall where it would like rain all day like that or all night like that where you could leave the window open a little bit with the screen and just listen to the to the falling rain. Now today you don't you don't get weather like that anymore. I don't know what the hell has changed you guys, but man, nothing's like it used to be. And whenever I check the the radar, for like when I get ready to mow this place and I go look at the uh, the radar, I uh, downsize the map so I can see all of the United States and when I advance the the bar just to advance the radar, everything that blows up in our area blows up simultaneously in other areas all over the United States. So if I see a cell that's growing in New York as I'm advancing the bar back and forth where I can make it shrink or make it blow up, it's doing the same exact thing down in Texas. And then there's another one in South Dakota and it's doing the same thing. And maybe one on the western side of Michigan and then one maybe down in Tennessee. And as I move the bar back and forth, they all expand or shrink at the same time. No matter how I move the bar, they all blow up at exactly the same time. And I told Bridget, I says, how is that even possible when all states have different temperatures, different weather, different wind patterns, diff a different jet stream? I, I don't understand that, you guys. I mean, granted, I'm not a meteorologist, but it tells my common sense mind that there's something not right about that. Not every storm, wherever they may be, dotted throughout the United States should all expand and grow like that simultaneously at exactly the same time. And if you don't believe me, go on your local radar and do it. Go look at the, go look at the different storms that are wherever they may be at any given time in the United States. And even the cells that are out over the water, like the Atlantic or the Pacific or even down in the Gulf. And you advance that bar for like an hour in advance or two hour advance, and they all blow up at exactly the same time. I don't know, you guys. This world's so screwed up we live in anymore. Just very bizarre. But I know one thing. Not only has a lot of things changed since I had my surgery to where I can't seem to get used to it, but I had to break down and buy a air conditioning unit because since I had that surgery now, I can't take the heat like I used to. I used to landscape and work out in this heat, and it never bothered me. Now I can't take it when it gets in the 90s. And never have you guys ever heard me complain about the heat because I've always loved the heat. But now, like a lot of other things, I can't I can't deal with it. And it's not just getting older. I mean, this happened, you know, this year after having that surgery done to where I just can't take the heat. It makes me sick because I feel sick off and on every day. And the heat just makes it worse. So I bought an air conditioning unit and, uh, and it works beautifully. So now if I get hot mowing, I can go inside and cool off and, and uh, try to feel better. But let me know down below, you guys, if you remember what I was talking about in this video. Do you remember when thunderstorms used to be thunderstorms? When you used to get just like a gentle garden rain all day long or all night long, and then the following morning the sun would come out and you'd have a nice day again? Now it seems like storms are either they're a disaster or they're non-existent. It goes from one extreme to the next, like with what's going on down in Texas and what happened out in the state of Nevada with that giant dust storm with over 80 mile an hour winds. And that wasn't even forecasted. And the, the residents there said it just blew up out of nowhere. Same thing happened in Minnesota. And the same thing on that during that same week, during this holiday past week, same thing happened in uh, eastern New York and New Jersey. Toppled trees and telephone poles and everything. But the good old-fashioned nonviolent thunderstorms that used to last and last, and just regular normal rainfall, I can't tell you guys when the last time that's ever happened. At least around here. You just don't see it happen anymore. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below and let me know what you remember. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.